Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for Tomorrow Survivalist and one of the questions I was asked in actually in my Spanish channel which I keep mentioning it's called uh, Supervivencia Moderna I'll try leaving the link below if I remember if you go want to check it out and maybe practice a little bit of your Spanish but there was a very unfortunate incident recently in Buenos Aires where a cop was stabbed by, by a madman with a knife and he was wearing a, a body armor vest and there's different accounts some say that it slipped through the through the vest some people say it just went through the vest but that was a question being asked how much does a um, a vest protect you well really not all that much that's the, the short answer because these um, body armor panels the soft panels which are usually made out of kevlar mostly it's gonna be kevlar these are several stacks of kevlar maybe 25 20 30 um uh, sheets of, of uh, Kevlar fabric one on top of the other and Kevlar being as hard as it is this is mostly intended as to dissipate the energy of the projectile and that's the way it just doesn't go through but it's intended to dissipate the energy of uh, uh, of a round of a projectile not to stop a blade so in this case this is a um, soft um, a armor panel these this is actually made full disclosure let me move this over there made by this company safeguardarmor.co.uk i'll leave the link below for you guys to check it out if in case you're interested in, in purchasing one of these lots of people think that body armor is illegal or hard to get depends on where you live mostly it's perfectly legal you can just buy it online and it just gets shipped to you and that's it that's a, a pretty solid company they sent me this vest for um for trying out and it's um yeah, definitely a good way to go. But if you go to the website, you will find that there's different levels of, of body armor, as you, of course, know. You know, you have your two, two A's, three A's, three. When you're talking about three, it's going to be a ballistic plate, a rifle plate, solid, either metal or, or, or ceramic. But you also have stab vests, which are something completely different because this will not stop a, a stab, a, a knife. You know, if you have this, this panel, even though it's it's capable of stopping up to 44 magnum or or a uh, or buckshot just stabbing with this kitchen knife i just picked this out of my my drawer of my kitchen drawer it just goes through it you know you just stab through it and it will just penetrate the vest and end up killing the person wearing it right so it may resist a bit of a slashing you know because it is so many layers uh, of kevlar or so slashing it may hold on to it but as soon as you start stabbing it will penetrate the vest you need a proper stab vest so as to stop this kind of threat and even when you're talking about ice picks there's specific vests made for that kind of threat because an ice pick is maybe one of the hardest things to defend against uh, an ice pick will just rip and go through pretty much all of these soft panels so you have to keep that in mind not everything is the same just because it stops a, a, a bullet doesn't mean it's going to be stopping a knife just remember that and just don't assume that you are um, wearing something that you're going to be protecting against an, a knife you see a, a madman with a knife you see an attacker with a knife you're wearing a vest i'm okay no you're not your vest is intended for this it's going to be stopping projectiles it's going to be stopping your nine millimeters three percent and of course a soft a panel vest will not stop rifle rounds a 556 will go just right through this both sides with you wearing it and all 308 even more so so just don't assume that um, just because it stops a, a bullet it will stop a, a an innocent little knife you know um, one of the things lots of people underestimate these are in every single kitchen around the planet and yeah it will go through your your vest um, I feel very strongly about body armor that's why I, I've recommended that's why I recommended it in Sweet Survival Skills, my book. It is the kind of thing that in, in numerous possible situations, either you're, you're guarding your community after a disaster, after a, a certain event where there's a, a, a higher level of, uh, there's a, a visible threat or a possible threat that may be heading your way. So you're guarding your community from, from mobs, from uh, looters after a natural disaster. Even on a personal level, some of the dealings in, you know, if you're carrying a lot of cash from the bank and you're living in a not so safe community and and doing some dealings with, with people you're not so sure about and you just don't have much of a choice about doing that or not because it's maybe your job your livelihood be, depends on that but when you are in any specific 
position that uh, you believe there is a higher risk, you put something like this on. This is a concealable body armor. I always think it's a good idea to have both, concealable and an actual tactical vest, maybe with rifle plates for something that provides a little bit more protection. But you know, it's something that people not often think about. Maybe folks will have, you know, a, a, a dozen guns and not a single a, a body armor vest. I think it's a good idea to have it. If you wear it, you wear it. If you feel fine that you don't need it, that's fantastic. But this is like your gun. You know, when you have it, you have the option of, of using it or not. When you don't have it, <laughs> you, your, your options are quite different. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you on the next video.